Or is it a bit different? Is it basically like this? Or like any? Uh, can I try that? Sure. That is one honker of an airplane. They're really fast. You can hurt them a lot more trying to save them. Okay. okay. So, so just let it crash. If it's going to hit you, stand still. It will not hurt you, it will not hurt it. Three dimensional. What, what's it again? F9 F Cougar. <laughs> what was it, how did you get introduced to walk along gliding? I heard of Tyler McCready, uh, you know, Tyler McCready. McCready's work around 1990. 1990. And I decided to try it. And I tried it with a free flight hand launch glider and oh. dove it into the ground repeatedly <laughs> because the tail gets more upwash than the wing. And so I tried some flying wings and they worked uh, better. Okay. Oh, the tail, right. Okay. Flying wings a little, kind of like this. Yep, that, that, that. oh yeah. Uh, and. But then when I did try putting tails on, I made it short coupled and a small tail and high. Okay. So that the tail would be in similar lift as the wing. Okay. And gave it plenty of nose up trim. And and it was quite flyable. This actually is my first tailed oh, wow, lighter. Nice. Yes. Well, yes. Scale model sort of. Yes. Yes, it's a it's a semi scale Northrop F eighty nine Scorpion. That's right. Right, 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 right. Beach V tail and oh, holy cow! Anymore until about um, well, my, until my kids started to get old enough to enjoy them, and I thought, you know, I did that, that thing I did once a long time ago that that would be fun. So, yeah. so around about six or seven years ago, I started building them again, mm -hmm. and you know, Jesse learned to fly them, and, mm -hmm. and my other kids and. A large fleet of stick and tissue. Yep. Uh, walk a lot. Uh, yeah. Do you ever do one? Um, thank you all for coming. Um, this has been a, just a terrific blast. Uh, on her way. She wants you to know she hasn't forgotten you. She will be here. And She's uh, getting the phone in the car. They said that tonight they just uh, in the dome. Yeah. Have a little table. We're going to. Uh, I envision this as being uh, demonstrations first. I'm going to call on people to, you know, demonstrate your, your, your best gliders, uh, demonstrate your, you know, wow everybody here, um, and then uh, I want to show them the hot air balloon and talk about it being an ocean of air, and uh, and and if we can, if we have an ocean here, maybe we can surf. Uh, no, that'll be the tie-in to the surfing. So I'm going to do the hot air balloon first, <laughs> and then tie it into the surfing. Right. Right. Okay, so this is the ocean of air. Yeah. And so, whoops. Yeah. Okay. So I'll do that, and then I'll let it up, and uh, then then it'll come back down. Because well, Adam, can you like though? If Adam stood on a table, I think oh, I hope they don't have a smoke detector. <laughs> Wouldn't that be awful? That'd be exciting. Yeah. It's going about one and a half miles per hour. It also has one other trick. Ah, uh, uh, yes. The I'm reverse. I'm kind of lazy. I don't like always putting the airplane up the right way, upside down and backwards. Not good, huh? Oh. So we can do that. Now, Michael is a college student, engineering student, who developed those thin foam gliders. He didn't invent walk-along gliding, but he did invent using thin foam, everyday common foam. I wish we had a little more light in here. Thank you. That's the Monthly better straight balance. Just straight out. Oh, you know what? Okay. It's still a little square. So there, I think.
think now let's get kind of an angle. Too far like this will make it screw up, and too far like this will make it screw up. So about like this, and you want to keep the glider about this high above it, and just kind of walk behind it, keeping it up in the air. Okay. Here, I'll launch it. For you. Take the cardboard. Uh, I'll launch it. All right. Ready? That's perfect. That's how you want it. Yeah. Good. Okay. Let's stop it, Phil. Good. Okay. Slowly. Slow and steady. Oh. <laughs> Uh-huh. <laughs> and try and make it as cheap as possible and yeah. just, you know, uh, because I thought that it was, it's kind of a very, you touch the air when you, when you go with a paddle, you're touching the air, you're really connecting with flight in a, in a, in a way that, um, you know, I, I mean, basically I think mankind's flying species, I mean, <laughs> we need, we need, the, we have, we need tools, but, but we know how to do it, and we do. Uh, so kids should learn how to fly. You know, they should learn in a, in a safe environment. Everybody should learn how to, how to kind of. And that's that's one thing that the walk along glider is really good at. That's, yeah. You take to the air. You know, it's it's human powered. It's 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 um you're actually controlling it. Yeah. Um, yeah. While while it's flying and and which is it's a unique. A unique yeah, combination. So it's going pretty straight. Amazing. Look at that. Good girl.